Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day that the Lord has given us together. Today we will be meditating upon. God is concerned with our heart and not our appearance. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Second Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. The Lord does not look at things people look at. People look at outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we've just read. What matters most? Does our appearance or our heart matter? Our attitude and actions which directly comes from our hearts. That's why hearts matters the most. Our appearance matters to us, but that's not the focus of our Heavenly Father. He has already created us with a perfect identity and a perfect and greater purpose. He has pl- developed a perfect plan for our lives. We must align ourselves with the will of God. We must look at ourselves our heart and our attitude and observe our behaviors and examine ourselves. We must question ourselves today and see what answer we receive from our inside voice. Are we truly bringing glory to our Lord or just faking it to pretend to look good in other people's sight? It doesn't matter how we look, but matters most is how we affect other people's lives. How do we react when we put in no pressure? How can how can we react when conflicting ideas are shared? How can we react in our families? How we react in communities? How can we react in professional? Most often, we pretend to be good where our hearts is saying something else. I often struggle with these situations as well. But now I know where to look in my struggles to show and to surrender the will of God. But truth, be truthful to your heart. When we suffer, we must bring it to the Lord Jesus and have him help us in the situation. Surrender all in his presence because what we can't handle, he can. He has chosen us to be a good vessel to be used by the master. He wants our heart to so let him prepare us like Joseph, Moses, David, Gideon, and the apostles. Unless we surrender, we can't be used for his glory. If we don't surrender to his will, we probably think, we probably thinking we are serving him, but in reality, we are not. So let's pray for ourselves that God will lead us and use us according to his plan and bring glory to his name. This message also gives us a promise where I did today. The promise is, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty wonderful God, Lord, I come to you today asking your will to be done in my life. Lord, help me and lead me to be used for your name to be glorified. Prepare me and use me to bring your glory to your holy name. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, I'll talk to you tomorrow.